Today we're talking about one of my favorite lines for men and for women. You have the time code in the description if you want uh, to look at yourself in your video. Anyway, Le Beau Paradise Garden and La Belle Paradise Garden, a two new fragrance by Jean-Paul Gaultier. Let's go. Super excited because I said this is really one of my favorite lines. Of course, Jean-Paul Gaultier Le Mal, how iconic is that line? If you ask a British guy, for example, what do you think about Le Mal? What does he evoke to you? They probably will tell you like nightclub in the 90s, you know? <laughs> this spicy fragrance, a bit androgen, like it was really the scent, I would say, of a generation. I still love it a lot. The line is actually e incredibly massive, especially because if you see if you just talk about the ones that are sold now, for example, in your local Sephora or John Lewis or whatever, it's fine. But the whole range, there are actually so many limited edition, different kind of fragrance. I think what I love, usually I'm not really too kind of flankers uh, because usually there's too many. But for Le Beau, I actually really enjoy when he does flankers because it's like, like I'm talking about him, like he's still there. It's horrible. Oh, I'm going to be sad. And they have like really nice creations that are a little bit more creative than the classic mainstream kind of like fragrance you will smell, for example, in the masculine or in the ladies range. They are iconic and some are really over the top and I really love that. Okay, so this is the classic here. Ooh, very nice. One of my favorite summer fragrance, I have to say. And I'm not just saying that, oh, summer fragrance on men. I love it on me. And nobody ever told me that I smelled like a guy. <laughs> if that's worrying you, nobody. I got complimented a lot with that fragrance. It's a very simple composition. Bergamot, coconut, and tonka bean. That's it. Warm coconut smell. Beautiful very tropical really high compliment getter and when my boyfriend wears that i'm so happy i really love it as well on him i think it's a bit sexy but fresh i love it new version the beau paradise garden is another version of that fragrance just to let you know you do also have this is the other toilet but you do also have the parfum uh, the parfum that is a little bit more mainstream very sexy i still really like it but it's like not as tropical and more uh, like a evening scent for men, classic, you know, I smelled that before. I like it, but, uh, you know, voila. Uh, I prefer the other toilet personally, like if you want tropical summer scent, go for the other toilet, it's amazing. This one is really like another flanker of these other toilets, really, because it has more similarities to this. Uh, the perfumer is Constant Bush. Do I say correctly? I do not know. And this person is French. That is the tragic thing about it. <laughs> He actually did like Good Girl, Nomad, Le Mal Parfum. So he's, he's, he's not new to Le Mal range because he did a lot of uh, Le Mal, you know. So, uh, and he also did recently Gucci Guilty Elixir that if you haven't smelled that and you're a guy, you need to smell it. It's absolutely amazing. Great saffron fragrance, I love it. So when they do like a fragrance like this, uh, they have a brief that is very strict so they can't go over the top or stuff like that. You know, you're not very creative when you create like a, a mainstream fragrance, well, at least a popular release. But he always, managed to use like notes that are a bit different like a bit over the edge every creation that it does it's a little bit different and you can really tell that there's an experienced perfumer behind to me at least le beau paradise garden what is it supposed to smell it's supposed to smell like a green coconut aquatic fragrance you have green note watery note mint ginger coconut Big salty note and a base of sandalwood and tonka bean that is really discreet. I want to go for Gantica. Had a look at your comment. Have a good laugh. Literally heavenly. Nobody understands this shit like I do. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> Smells like women's shampoo. Okay. Uh, Le beau eau de toilette plus green note plus fig plus better projection. Sillage longevity. Okay, that is really promising. But what do I feel about it? It smells really humid after the rain opening. Uh, if you smell that before, you know. And this is usually what is given by the green note of fig. Fig has really like a like a garden house, greenhouse, greenhouse. Tropical mood was done in a different way here. No citrus at all, and the ginger does a great job as doing some fizziness to the scent, at least at the beginning. Till this aftershave kind of smell, masculine aftershave that you did have in Le Beau as well. Despite it being very tropical, you know, this, this kind of like aftershave 
guy thing, but I really like it on that fragrance. The coconut is more like a coconut water. It feels much more lighter, watery, rather than the coconut in that fragrance is like very comforting, very cocooning, it's overwhelming. When it dries down, the salty note is taking uh, taking power over all the ingredients. So it's really interesting because it really smells salty to the point that it made me think of vanilla vibe. There is a very salty vanilla from uh, Juliette as a gun, but not as sweet because it's more vanilla-like. Whereas here, when it dries down, you can smell a bit the tonka beans, but it's quite light. And after a few hours, I would say really what remains is this watery, slightly green note with salt. When I apply it on my skin at the beginning, it smells a little bit like a light pina colada. It really goes off after, really, to smell more green. At least for a guy that want an easy scent for summer, that want to smell tropical, but more like a humid tropical. It doesn't really want to smell like a fruity punch. Because usually when you talk about tropical, that's what you smell. So you don't want to smell like that. You want to feel a bit more chic. For me, it's because of the mint and everything like that. It feels chic. For me, great projection, especially at the beginning. After that, even though I could really smell it on me during the day, I would say longevity is like, for me, it went on to five hours plus. So I would say moderate plus to me. Like I really feel that, uh, by the way, I need to tell you something because I might be biased in that because uh, like a lot of people, when I did that review of Le Beau like years ago, told me, oh, Clemence, like this doesn't last at all on me. For me, it's one of my most projecting summer fragrance and on my boyfriend as well. So I know it might be really different for some of you guys. And this is one of the fragrances where I felt the most disconnected to my audience because I think it lasts forever. And for me, the grade is 9 over 10. I love this range. I love this release. I think they made like a, a slightly different tropical aspect. The humidity of the sand, the, the slightly tone of fig. Everything is really well balanced. You don't have something that screams. I love salty notes. So uh, yeah, for me, it's a 9 out of 10. I really liked it. I really want it to my collection. Let's go to La Belle Paradise Garden for women. So this one is a floral vanilla iris. Well, at least it's supposed to be. I don't own La Belle, the classic. I wasn't really a fan, to be honest with you. So La Belle classic is like a heavy, fruity vanilla. Smell a bit like pear and a lot of flowers, but it was really heavy. And usually I like pear. I, I like the scent. I really like the scent. I don't get me wrong. But, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's a bit more... Uh, I don't know, I prefer the masculine version. What, what do I want to say? Um, so uh, this fragrance here, Paradise Garden, is actually a little different. Low wall vanilla tone, but they replaced a little bit, a lot actually, the ingredient made the composition much more simple. It's lotus, iris and vanilla. So iris smell powdery, vanilla is not too intoxicating. It's actually really light in that fragrance. Uh, that's what I feel. Lotus is a great scent, but very treat. Uh, Lotus is great uh, to use to give an aquatic scent without feeling too marine. And when you smell too marine, you smell like a guy. That's the idea that we have in our brain. I'm not saying it's the case, you know, but that's what we have. We are used to that. You know? As much as I love La Belle, this flanker doesn't stand close. More soapy, overpowering, synthetic sweetness and aquatic note. Great resume here. And another one said, I love this perfume. Only three notes, but it smells so nice. Perfect summer scent. So on my case, I think like, I definitely smell how aquatic, sweet and floral it is. Actually, with the time, it actually grew more powerful because at the beginning I was like, oh, it's, it's a bit too soft. But actually with the time, it's interesting and a little bit more sweet, I'd say. Um, the problem I have with Lotus now is that it's really difficult to balance because when you use Lotus, it's actually a note that is synthetically, uh, it smells a bit synthetic. Uh, by the way, I didn't say, but you know, the, the fragrance smells a bit synthetic. Uh, Jean-Paul Gaultier, uh, what can you expect? It doesn't shock me at all for me. It's really fun. They're very fun composition and, and I take it like this. So this one though smells slightly, I could really smell a bit more the synthetic aspect. Uh, a few moments later and i was a little bit more bothered in there because i could really smell this hair freshener smell because this is a note that is usually used for this kind of product you know and i could really smell that in there with the time though it developed in something like a little bit more honey that i actually really like just a little bit of powdery note on top really um that's how it smells 
Uh, I would have preferred it to be more salty. It is missing the tropical plot. And I think this whole collection is about being tropical, fun, joyful, summer. Hey, you know, Punta Cabana, I'm going dancing, you know. I, think I didn't really feel that with that fragrance. For me, it smelled like romantic, delicate. It's a nice summer scent. I like the fact that it's a refreshing floral, a bit sweet. Yes, but it's like a little bit weaker compared to the men's one. I, I would have loved to feel something more tropical. A light floral scent to me, a bit soapy holiday during the day, not during the night. It's not really sexy like the OG. It's really something that is a little bit more romantic and cute to me. It smells cute, uh, so it's not really a mature scent to me. Voilà. The sillage is for me moderate, a bit the same as Le Beau Paradise. Uh, you can, sm uh, and I would say five hours, so pff, it's okay. You know, for what it is, it's okay. Totally fine. It passed the test. Uh, but uh, on this, for me, I would put like a 6.5 out of 10. Six, seven. I would definitely not buy that myself. I think the thing is like, I love Lotus as a note, and I know that's better. Uh, what is better? Pluie sur Halong from Elake. You won't smell a proper lotus fragrance. This is absolutely gorgeous. It's dreamy, dreamy, romantic, particularly well done with flowers like magnolia and stuff like that. Very soothing, very classy. I, I can even think of something else that I prefer. Uh, where is it? So Key London, fragrance content creator. You might know her. Uh, she did that fragrance called Aphrodite. The Jean Paul Gaultier has something a little bit classy. Aphrodite is more fun, but that is a tropical fruity fragrance, floral fruity fragrance. That's what I'm expecting to smell. Oh, mango, lotus, that gives that freshness as well. Coconut and aquatic note. That's what I wanted to smell. Juicy, you want to bite it, you know. There's something about it that is really sexy. It's also way stronger with more lasting power. So I was expecting something like this. I think she did an amazing job, actually. Let's do this. I really like this and this is very cute. So highly recommend you to try that fragrance because yeah. So, OK, six out of ten for Jean-Paul Gaultier then. <laughs> Right guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. Let's learn a bit of French today. As usual, our new ritual is I give you a word and you type it at the end of the video uh, in the comment section. Uh, it makes me see that you watch the video until the end and, uh, and uh, that you're a great one. You're a very great one. And it makes me very happy. So the word of the day is gonna be a French word and it's gonna be belle. This means uh, beautiful, but for a girl. And beau means uh, beautiful before guy, but we say bell today, okay? And yeah, I want to give you a little life update very, very quickly. I'm really sorry. I um, I, uh, I took a little bit of time off. Actually, I'm not sorry. But <laughs> I'm in my face. Uh, you know, I've got face where, like, if you followed my life update since a long time, you probably know what I'm talking about. But um, I'm I'm struggling with my mental health at the moment, big time. Uh, since a week, big time. So, uh, yeah, amazing all smiling like this, but um, yeah, I'm, I'm just a master at hiding uh, this, I guess. This is not great, but I, I try to be transparent with you. And so I'm really sorry if I'm a little bit behind with everything, comments and stuff. Uh, this is this is because I have to disconnect and just opening my phone at the moment gives me massive anxiety. And I'm filming now and I'm not even sure when I'm going to edit it because like uh, right now, you don't see it, but I'm sweating. I'm sweating big time. I froze, so I'm not capable to do anything. Today is the first time in a week that I'm doing something. <laughs> so, um, yeah, if you have the same thing as me, like you, you suffer with those um, things, uh, I'm with you guys. It's not easy, but uh, get to keep smiling and get to keep going. What usually I do, because usually I have that every six months, maybe, um, during two weeks or three weeks or a month sometime, uh, where, where I'm very down and I froze uh, for all this time. It's, it's not easy. Uh, usually I, I'm trying to be kind with myself, which I didn't do before. Now I've got the experience of it. I've got this since a long time, so I know it's not new to me. 
So um, I'm just trying to let it go. And my best suggest would be like, I go through my pain and I let it happen. I'm not gonna fight it anymore. She's part of me, she's there, she wants to be there during two, three, one month, then I embrace the sadness. <laughs> and then I know he's getting better. Then that's what keeps me going. I'm like, in my head, I'm like, I know it's getting better. But it's really funny when it gets better after and I've got like a six month amazing time and I'm just like, there's no way I'm gonna go back to that. <clears throat> and it always happens again. I don't, um, I don't want to sound like I complain. <clears throat> I just like to be transparent with everyone and to talk about these things really easily because um, sometimes it's a bit difficult to, if I'm honest with you, to talk about it with my friends. Um, so I feel like in front of the camera, I don't see the look. Um, because it's, it's something that, if you know, um, if, if you suffered from mental health, and I think we all did at some point anyway. So you know that it's difficult to talk about it because you look like the, the person that is complaining and you feel guilty deep inside. Or, or you know, you say, you say something very tough. And for me, like, unfortunately, uh, what I go through, it's, it's not very polite uh, sometimes. And, um, and sometimes I will say it to one of my friends and I would not get the response that I, I expect. Um, you would see the look, you know, not judgmental, but like that they can't really relate. And it's, it's a bit painful. So usually I, I'm not really talking too much about this. Uh, I'm trying to be kind with myself, but it's really difficult. It's really difficult. Uh, I think if, if you went through that, you know. <laughs> never give up. That's the whole point of it. You never give up and everything is going to be fine. I wish you a lovely day. I'm sorry for expressing myself a little bit too much at the end of this review. I really needed it, so um, I hope you don't mind. And uh, thank you. Bye.